The daily updates directly to your inbox plus subscribe. Thank you for subscribing. Could not subscribe. Try again later in valid email. Graham Murdy eased to another three points with another three goals in his second match as Rangers. Caretaker bust this afternoon. The stand-in manager enjoyed a stress-free afternoon as goals from Ross McCrory. Daniel Candeas and Josh Windass were more than good enough to take care of a lackluster partick. This whole side that really only troubled Murti's men occasionally in front of 49. 502 fans, who left happy enough with their team's display. Murti went with the 11 that beat Hearts last week meaning Bruno Alves was on the bench upon his return from suspension. An uneventful opening period was broken in the 15th minute when Ryan Jack burst forward to smash a 25-yard drive that was turned round the post by Cerny. Image. SNS Group. Video. Loading video unavailable. Click to play. Tap to play. The video will start in 8. Cancel play now. Jack was involved again three minutes later when Alfredo Morales released him with a deft flick on the right, allowing the midfielder to drive into the box to deliver a low cross that eluded Josh Windass at the near post. More should have been made of the opportunity but there were signs that Rangers were settling. They took the lead in the 29th minute but Alan Archibald would have been disappointed in the manner his defense was breached. Kenny Miller taps a short corner to Candeas and when the winger swung in the right wing cross, McCrory got the run on his marker and bulleted a header from 10 yards behind Cerny. That sparked a period of pressure where Miller had a chance but couldn't control James Tavernier's superb long diagonal into the box. Windass then had a shot bravely blocked by Niall Keown but the visitors conceded again in the 38th minute. Image. P.A. Holt, who had been the most energetic player on show, burst into the box and had his shot well blocked by the advancing Cerny, only for the rebound to fall to Candeas 16 yards out and although he still had a bit of work to do, he found the bottom corner with an accurate drive. Thistle contributed to their own downfall just 90 seconds into the second half when Jordan Turnbull was woefully short with a headed back pass to his keeper. Finding Windass on the edge of the box and the winger scored his second goal in two games through. The legs of Cerny. Miller should have made it four at the end of a sweeping move involving Candeas and Windass but the captain fired well over from the edge of the box as the hour mark approached. It did and matter in terms of the outcome but it was a passage of play worthy of a goal. This looked better with the introduction of Chris Doolin and sub-striker came close in the 70th minute with a drive that flew inches wide but it was much too little. Too late. Rangers won with plenty to spare. Three talking points. Faith in youth. Murti's decision to keep Alvis on the bench at the end of his ban was a show of confidence in young. Ross McCrory and also a sign that the caretaker manager ISNT afraid to make big calls. It was vindicated not only with McCrory's goal but with his assured display at the back. Thistle lacking a jag. Image. SNS Group. Thistle rarely looked like they believed they could trouble Rangers. They started okay but rarely troubled the home side and when the deadlock was broken it was a long way back for them. Conceding the second made it impossible and after the third it was damage limitation. Although they improved with Doolin as the spearhead. Murdy the man. Image. SNS Group. The Rangers board now have a bit of breathing space with the international break coming up and by the time Hamilton come calling in the next game. They simply have to have made the right managerial appointment. On today's showing, maybe the answer was right under their noses. On the touchline.